Channel 2, New York. My Datsun is the most economical car that I've ever owned. I've had, uh, over the past 10 years, uh, seven new cars. First car I've ever owned in my life that I didn't have a list about yay long, or oh, this needs fixing. The thing that made me mad, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. With four-speed manual transmission, all three B210s get a super 41 miles per gallon on the highway. Their reliability is shared by all Datsuns. <laughs> Working hard, running free, all dressed up, I'm still me. I'm not one woman, I'm really three, and Timex has a watch for every one of me. I chose this classic Timex for every day, this sports watch for fun times, this glamorous Timex for my very best. Timex has a watch for every one of me. Your Timex keeps working and working and working. Hello. I didn't
since you come in. I'm Alan, and welcome to the Manhattan Transfer Show. I'm Janice, and I'd like to welcome you, too, because I'm having a good time. Yes, we are. Yes. <laughs> it's a duck. Look at this. No, no, you're the duck. You're Dougie Duck, aren't you? I know my duck. You know, ducks. I really love your singing. Oh, thank you. I learned it all from you. I'm flattered. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You know, they're almost just doing this to kill box. Well, oh. that's uh, something to shoot for. Yeah. Or at. <laughs> not funny. I'm only, listen, I'm only kidding. Yeah, that's not I'm sorry. Funny, I'm really sorry, Dougie. Yeah, I'm only fooling around. Doggy. Being silly, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, it really must be fun to be a duck. You know, to fly around, being so high up in the sky, no, you know? No, I can't fly. What do you mean you can't fly? You're a duck. I'm not old enough. Not old enough? Yeah. Well, how old do you have to be? Sixteen. Well, what happens when you're sixteen? Oh, that's when you get your license. Oh, well, uh, well, I don't understand. Where do you get the license from? Oh, from the FAA. Oh, the Federal Aeronautics Administration. Yeah. Well, what classi classification are you? I'm an LBD. An LBD? Yeah. LBD. Now, what could that be? I need a bigger duck. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dougie, what are the fastest flying ducks? Oh, uh, those are saber ducks. Saber ducks? Yeah, they're real no. fast. I, ne I never saw a saber duck. Well, that's because they're so fast. <laughs> Oh, oh. Fast. You look like a, a healthy duck. Have you ever been sick? Nice drumstick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, once I was sick. You were? Yeah, I had the uh, big pox. The big pox? Yeah. No, you mean the small pox. No, I knew the small, I mean the big. Uh, Doug. Yeah. Tell me something. Do you Doug, have a little yeah. girlfriend? No. I'm not well, I, I haven't reached puberty. Well, when do you reach puberty? You must be very anxious. I'm 16. Hey, that's when you fly. Yeah. What a coincidence. Yeah. Well, it all happens at once. Seems like <laughs> Hey, Dougie, do you, uh, do you dance? Oh, yeah, sure. You do? Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. What's your favorite dance? Oh, uh, the waddle. The waddle. Can you uh, give us a demonstration of the waddle? Oh, yeah. I don't slide. Maybe we can learn it, Alan. Yeah. yeah. Put it in the egg. Yeah. Uh, waddle, waddle, waddle. One, two, three, four. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Two, three, four, five, six. Waddle, flap, waddle, flap, waddle, flap, flap, flap.
Using the phone booth, making a few calls, doodling with things, using the blue walls. Got me a big date, waiting for my chick, putting a face on so she can look slick. I enjoy procrastinating cause I'm busy while I'm waiting. Doodling away, doodling away. Sitting and dining, till the beginning, started designing, using the linen. Talking to my date, doodling my bit. Waiter got salty, told me to please split. Told the waiter, don't be dizzy, can't you see? I'm very busy. Doodling away, doodling away. Do you doodle all day? Said the waiter in dismay, do you doodle all night? Right in your doodling way. That's the way I'm gonna stay. Are you painting things right? Doodling sheds a lot of light. I don't know. In other you can we all do the ooh and doodle is all I want to do. That's for sure. I love every single thing I see. Look exactly like a doodle to me. If I ever have a doubt what life is all about, I get my pencil out and then commence to doodle and I find it real relaxing. for Mead. When I was in school, I used to lose my papers almost as fast as I wrote on them. I should have had the classifier from Mead. The classifier has a perforated writing pad and three filing pockets. So get a classifier for every subject. And get my new book, Blueberry Finn. The classifier only for Mead. You know, we began working long before we opened our Pizza Hut restaurant. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Emery's got us another load of fresh vegetables. Jack and Rudy mix up fresh dough. The way we make pizza and pasta and sandwiches makes for some extra work, but it's a lot of fun, too. And when that first customer walks in, we're ready. People here really are the best. And I ought to know, I'm Seth Adams, the manager.
Pinky Lee, I'm Eldorado Caddy, your airwave daddy. Pull the switch and throw the lever, Presley can't go on for either. My mind's in a bustle, I'm flexing my muscle. We're laying one on you, boot night down, tag the hustle. Yeah. Giving it to you straight with some patter from the platter. And we got some guests coming your way. You ready for me, ain't you, huh? You been ready, huh? Well, button your seatbelts nice and tight. Be prepared for the heavenly flight. It's the big one, the big bad boss sound from Trenchtown, Jamaica. The Trenchtown Experience, Bob Marley and the Whaler. <laughs>
Oza Boza. E to the D. Once again, sweet babies, it's me. Ever laughing, ever loving, El Dorado Caddy, your airwave daddy. Here to tell you it would take a month of days to lay down all the heavenly praise showered upon these next guests. Four cats and kitties who've got the whole country stomping because their lick is smoking. You dug them before, well, dig them now. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Guido and the Flat Toes. Yeah. <laughs>
You're looking at a leading cause of minor eye irritation, the summer sun's glaring rays. Another way summer makes eyes burn, itch. <sighs> Pollen. Salt in the ocean and chlorine in pools irritate eye tissue. When summer makes your eyes irritated and red like this, you need Visine to soothe, cool, refresh. And only Visine has tetrahydrosoline to get the red out. Recommended by many eye doctors. Visine gets the red out. They all act like they're starving. Hey, serve us with a smile. With this headache? Here, try something strong. Anison's adult strength. The others are for adults. But while Bayer, Bufferin, and Anison start with the same amount of pain reliever, adult strength Anison adds 23% more. Then Anison adds an extra ingredient not found in the others. All better? That Anison's great. Sure fix my headache. Once again, it's time for the station break. We'll return in but a moment. Ta-ta-ta! This Sunday, the Cher premiere begins a whole new season with the Smothers Brothers. Bill Cosby and those marvelous mothers. So thin in the way you know. Next Sunday night on CBS. Good morning, America. Come join us for scrambled eggs and sausage. You, you're the one. These eggs are scrambling for you. You, you're the one. Atlanta and beyond. Two fresh eggs scrambled up light and fluffy with a patty of pure country pork sausage. Try it. Get a McDonald's coffee mug free, buy juice, coffee, and one of the three great breakfast specials. If you're not up to the complete breakfast, you can buy the mug for 39 cents plus tax. Channel 2, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to start the second half of our show, but before we go, we have a special treat for you. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Steve Landisberg. This is a weird job. I never get used to this. Because uh, when comedians come on, they always worry about bombing. How are they going to do with the audience? And I don't worry about it because I took a course in bombing. I once worked in front of a group called the Sand and Gravel Convention. <laughs> Whole room full of men with dirt and rocks on the table. They didn't believe. They looked at me like I was from the moon. What in, what in tall nations he talking about? Let's <laughs> get. Go back to the hotel. Bring a donkey in the room, anything. <laughs> I walked around the street wondering, what is sand and gravel? Because I know you're a little kid, you want to be a doctor, a ball player, your daddy talks to you. But sand and gravel couldn't. Well, Bubba Lee, Bobby Joe, Billy Willie. <laughs> I want to see one of those kids called Wendell one of these days. <laughs> what are you going to do when you grow up, you little shaver? <laughs> well, daddy, I want to be a Negro. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! You're going in the sand and gravel like your mama. <laughs> this is a... I, I'm fascinated by different cultures, different countries, different attitudes, different people. If you take a guy in this country, comes home and finds his wife with another man, and he shoots him, that's a crime of passion. A jury would probably sympathize with that guy, might even let him go. Take that same situation in France. Not only would they let him go, they'd probably give him a prize. <laughs> Pierre Lafourche, you are charged with the murder of your wife and her lover. What do we have for him, Bob? <laughs> a Bendix washing machine, a new freezer. <laughs> Different attitude. You know that Sweden, Sweden has one of the highest suicide rates in the world, and I try to figure out why. It's the climate, cold climate. Also, if you've ever been to an Ingmar Bergman movie, they're very depressing. <laughs> but they just seem to do it over there. I mean, a man comes home from work, he's very happy. zippity doo da <laughs> What's this up for, Snookums? <laughs> Hispanicus? <laughs> it's a sport. It's the national sport in Sweden. I love sports. I'm a big sports fan. And this is a big year for firsts in sports. They had the first black quarterback in pro football, 
and the first black manager in baseball. I'm looking for the first Jewish duck hunter. Because <laughs> you know, generally, duck hunters are going, hey, lamb over there in the brush, and Miller got a mallet, didn't it? Well, who the hell is that? Who's that stranger? Oh, that's that Jew duck hunter. <laughs> well, uh, what's going on, boys? What are you using? 22s? How's the vintage? <laughs> I love interviews with athletes. That's my favorite part of any sport sporting event on television. When they interview the athlete after the game, but they always go into the winning dressing room. World Series, Super Bowl, always with the winners, and that's fun. But I'd love to see them take the camera into the losing dressing room, because that's where the tension is and the drama. Yeah, we lost the game. How'd you figure that out, sucker? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why we lost the game. That the on camera, the red light? Well, I'm in the end zone by myself. I'm waiting for the ball, baby. I'm in the open. I'm counting my money. And Bobby Joe, Bobby Joe don't show me the ball because I'm black. <laughs> what do you mean don't get mad? What you talking about don't lose your temper? I had my down payment on the Mercedes Benz. Now I got to get me a damn Pinto. <laughs> Pintos. Pintos. This whole town is a pinto. I, you know, sometimes when you do groups, when, there's, uh, when uh, people see their particular group on the screen and they don't like the way they're portrayed, they get uptight. Uh, when they had the Godfather, there were some Italians who were upset about the Godfather. And at the beginning of the television season, there were some Mexican people who were upset about Chico and the man. And Southerners often get upset because they're portrayed as bigots. Now, that doesn't mean that all Southerners are bigots. It just sounds so much better when a guy says, hang him. <laughs> I believe that tree over there is empty. <laughs> and if I'm elected, I'm gonna do something about crime. I'm gonna clean it up. I got my own solution for murder. I can look a person in the eye and see whether he's gonna kill somebody. I saw me a potential murder the other day up there in the woods. <laughs> I hung him. <laughs> He'll never kill nobody. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Let's stand by with commercial. Here we come in five, four, three, two, one. Don't be shy. Give it a try. Think of a word. Play the fry. The financial section. Hello, Dr. Fry. I'm having a fraternity crisis. Uh, take some McDonald's fries and call me in the morning. Right. The Frytastic. Carnal might. <laughs> wind from the Sahara, Scirocco, a hot car from Volkswagen. As swift and powerful as the wind it's named after, Scirocco, with front wheel drive that handles like nothing you've ever driven before. And Scirocco gets about 38 miles per gallon on the highway. Scirocco, the hot one from Volkswagen.
uh, House of Blue Lights diner. Nah, Tim ain't here. <laughs> yeah, all right, sure, yeah, I'll tell him you call. Okay, take it easy, man. Hey, hey, Janice. Hmm? Your boyfriend Timmy just drove up in his cab. Uh huh. Hey, Toots, got any messages? Yeah, your mother called and she said you should come over on Sunday and bring a little something. I'm a little something. Hey, I ain't doing tonight, Jumpy. Oh, not bad. But my feet feel like they should be on Dr. Scholl's critical list. Hey, you know, New York's a nice town. Yeah, it would be if they'd ever finish it. Yeah, how come uh, Con Edison's always digging up new holes in the street? Well, check it out. They ain't digging no new holes. They just move the old ones around so the cabbies can't memorize them. <laughs> Look, you keep this counter real clean. No breadcrumbs, no ketchup stains. No tips. Yeah. Hey, that prune Danish looks real good. Let me have one. Let me have a paper, too. Oh, coming up your taxi ship. Hey, this is yesterday's paper. It's all right. You're about to get yesterday's Danish. Well, I see uh, unemployment's up again. Yeah, you know, it comes at such a bad time, too, when everybody's out of work. Yeah. It's depression, dude. It's really not the stuffing out of the cab business. Yeah, I know just what you mean, man. You know, I didn't sell anything but one businessman's lunch yesterday. And four guys split that. Yeah, and then they asked for separate checks. Hey, uh, Tim, is, uh, is that your new cab out there? Yeah. Gee, it looks like it's been in an accident already. Yeah. You know, the guy that drives the day shift's not a very good driver. How can you tell? Well... The St. Christopher statue on the dashboard's got whiplash. Uh-uh. Hey, will you look at this? This is the fourth mugging this week. Yeah, you know, this city is a jungle. I really worry about my mother living alone. I know what you mean. I live alone, too, and it's scary. I know I'd feel a lot safer if I had a roommate with me all the time. You mean it, Janice? Of course I do, you big lug. Great. Your problems are over. First thing tomorrow, I'll have my mother move in with you. <laughs> Pardon me, we forgot Joni's toothpaste. Can we borrow yours? Sure, use our aim. Oh, well. What's wrong? Joni's cavity prone. She needs fluoride toothpaste. Don't worry, AIM has fluoride. <laughs> See, AIM is a gel. It tastes better. This gel spreads that good taste faster than paste. AIM is low in abrasion, too. I like it. She likes it, and it has fluoride. Hmm, if she likes it, she might brush longer. Take AIM against cavities. Twelve coffees, uh, nine with cream. You're on. Maxine, that's instant coffee. Not just instant coffee. Instant Maxwell House. I make every cup fresh. See those flavor buds? They're what does it. <laughs> Taste fresh. Right. When you make it fresh, every cup tastes fresh, like your first cup in the morning. Good to the last drop. <laughs> and that last drop's pretty good, too. I think I'll have a cup. Instant Maxwell House. Good to the last drop. I used to visit all the very gay places Those come what may places Where one relaxes on the axis of the wheel of life To get the feel of life From jazz and cocktails The girls I knew had sat 
Disengage phrases that used to be there. You could see where they'd been washed away by two. Many terrific things about doing this series is the family of talented people we've gotten to know. The person who helps our choreographer drum the steps into our heads is a fabulous performer, and we'd like you to meet her, Leland Palmer. Leland, is it true you wanted to be a dancer all your life? How did well, you get I... so good? What makes hey, a kid want to dance in the first place? That was a burning ambition. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Are you really interested? Yes. Of course yeah. you're interested. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Sit there, there, okay. there, there. Okay, okay I'm going to tell you in person yeah. here. I'm watching Cisco pit a pat. Said, I can do that. I can do that. Knew every step right off the bat. Said, I can do that. I can do that. One morning, sis won't go to dance class. I grab her shoes and tights and all. But my foot's too small, so I stuff her shoes with extra socks. Run seven blocks in nothing flat. Cause I can do that. Woo! to class and had it made and so I stayed the rest of my life oh thanks to sis now I can do this
You're a good right guard and aired extra dry, but we've got something new the tests have already proved is better in helping stop wetness. Introducing Ultra Band Super Dry. You're good soft and dry and dial, but Ultra Band Super Dry not only sprays on really dry, it's also more effective. It's true. Tests have proved that Ultra Band Super Dry will help stop wetness better than right guard, arid extra dry, soft and dry, and dial. They're all good, but tests proved Ultra Band Super Dry is better. It's me, Grace Pelham, in a 1966 Miss Clairol commercial. Here's how I look today. Does she or doesn't she? She still does. I love my hair. After nine years of using Miss Clairol color, it's in great condition. Terrific body. And if I have any gray, who knows? Does she or doesn't she? She still does. With today's natural wear Miss Clairol conditioning hair color. The best it can be at any price. To know you're the best you can be. Thank you. You know, a lot of wonderful things have happened to us in a, in a very short time. And it wouldn't have happened without a lot of help from a whole bunch of very devoted and dedicated people. I don't think we could have done it without them. So to them, our love and our thanks. And to all of you, the same. This has been one of the best, the greatest summer romances ever, and we hope it will never end. Good night, everybody. Good night. Long distance.
song but if the truth be known and you can check me later i need some bread babies here's the deal mcneil so bought me your lobes dearly beloved we have stepped upon this whale and scene to unite these chicks and these cats in the swinging little number of matrimony do you likely male prospectives Take these two lovely ladies to have, to hold, to lay a little bread upon, and generally dig till their silver threads bear heavy split ends. Sins believing, so sets a bubble. And do you lovely foxy ladies take these two button bennies to be your swinging partners in good times, bad times, New York times, and the National Enquirer? Hold tight, I'm coming down the line. I'm a seafood mama, don't waste no time. Then with the power vested in me by Murray the K Submarine Race Watcher Society, I pronounce you locks and bageled, window and framed, it's crazy rhythm all the same. And now with the newlyweds, embrace your spouses. <laughs> 